I am prepared for things to talk about today. Yes, today I am going to talk about things. Let's start with a ranger report. I run a weekly uh, Power Rangers campaign. I've gone through many settings on this, um, mainly because life happens, we don't get to play for like a month or two, and my brain goes, hey, wouldn't this be cool? So, that's what happened, basically, with the last one. We only got a couple sessions in, and ooh, wouldn't this be cool? But I had this idea of a new setting. Now, this is still like really rough draft stage of the setting. The rangers in the setting have been around for a while. For about, oh, I'm going to say uh, 24, 25 years. They've been fighting monsters that seem to be, you know, constantly attacking the Earth. Sometimes it's aliens, sometimes it's mad genius robots. Other times it's some um, demonic forces. You know, the standard ranger tropes. But instead of just regular Power Rangers, oh no, they're publicly known. They're not just publicly known. They are marketed and sponsored by a tech company who actually maintains their technology. That's publicly known. Their faces are publicly known. They are considered heroes to the wider world. But the company has a secret about the Rangers. Well, they got a couple secrets, but once I'm not going to say anything out loud until, uh, well, the players find out. But the big secret that's involved the players is the people that um, you see on the billboards, in the advertisements, who are, you know, the famous ones, aren't the ones that fight. Oh, no, 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 no. They're just the ones that will go on TV, advise people to get to shelters, morph on camera, and then teleport out someplace. What teleports into battle against the monsters are their stunt doubles. You see, the company, they put a lot of money in these guys, right? I mean, this is a lot of money. This is a big investment to be Power Rangers. And, well, they, they expect money back. And if Red Ranger's teeth get knocked in during a fight, well, it's really not going to help out with that toothpaste sponsorship. And that's where the player characters come in. They're stunt doubles for an experienced team of Rangers. And, honestly, I think that's kind of fun. I have figured out how the company makes money. They're a tech company, so they have, you know, various technologies. They make your smartphone. They make electric cars. They have social media apps, you know, the, the general tech company stuff, you know, streaming service, stuff like that. But where they make the money from the Rangers is, um, well, through a subsidiary, uh, they have uh, insurance, an insurance company that provides affordable insurance to a city that's uh, undergoing monster attacks that slowly raises its rates. Uh, when a building gets knocked down or trampled on by a giant monster in a monster attack, oh, they'll, um swoop in, buy the land cheap, put up a new office building, and slowly start raising rents. Because the city's not always going to be under a monster attack. So, you know, a few years, and then people move back into town once it's safe, and they'll need places to work, offices and stuff. Yeah, you know, that's how they make their money. Oh, and the face rangers, the ones that are on the billboards, in the advertisements, the ones that Everybody knows their faces. They're kind of jerks. Uh, Red Ranger is um, a bit of a man whore. Okay, he's more than a bit of a man whore. He's, he's a man whore. Genuinely good person, but meh. Uh, his second in command, Blue Ranger, um, is in a loving relationship with one of the player characters on the outside. But behind the scenes, rather toxic. Pink Ranger is... Uh, very petty to those who she feels wronged her, including Red Ranger, whom she had a one-night stand with at one point, and he never called her back. A Yellow Ranger is uh, more of that self-absorbed influencer type. And Black Ranger is violent. He became a ranger because he thought he would have the option to um, break things legally. And that's what I have for the world so far. I'm starting these guys up like um, at like a high level level 12 because um these are experienced rangers and these pcs are going to be uh 
experience. They, they're going to know the ropes. They're the, they're the stunt doubles. My players want a five-person team, unfortunately, so uh, I'm playing a DMPC for this. So yeah, they're up high. I'm going to be making my character over the week, um, during the week, I think. Because hopefully we'll be able to play this weekend. Last weekend we couldn't do the illness. But hopefully this weekend uh, we'll be able to play. And hopefully we'll actually be able to start this campaign before my uh, attention moves on to something different. Like um, a completely different kind of uh, campaign. I think that's it for my uh, Ranger report.